Hi, my name is Patrick. Uh, today we'll be discussing about CAT 2023 RC sources. So where have the passages been picked up from? Now, why are this? Why is this important? Why is it important for me to know? Because once you understand the source, you can read similar articles. The moment you read similar articles, you're familiar with the language. It helps you to understand the RC passage better. I mean, just to give you an example, I mean, suppose I'm an engineering student. So for me, an engineering article, maybe an automobile, if I'm a mechanical engineer, maybe an automobile article would be easier to understand maybe for than for our student if there's a lot of technicalities involved. So that means a familiar, familiarity with that particular topic or subject will help me to understand the topic better, or reading. Or un so that means if I know what type of passages do come in, I can read on a regular basis those type of passages and that will help me to solve it. Also, passages or the sources are normally are repeated. I mean, same source, the same type of magazines as such. So it makes sense to then be comfortable with those type of sources and magazines. Okay, how to use this information? My suggestion is don't jump to read from these sources. I mean, a lot of people, oh, it's come from this source, let me start reading it. It doesn't help. First, my recommendation is try to create a good reading habit by reading what you enjoy. So look at maybe novels. What do you enjoy reading? Read, create a good reading habit. So only once you create a good reading habit, will you be able to sustain your reading ability. Next, I mean, read editorials of newspapers to increase the level of reading. And last, then go to the sources. Now, each of these levels can take maybe two months, three months as such. But take your time. You still have a lot of time for the exam. So take your time to read and try to understand and go forward. This is a source. I mean, if you look at uh, Economist has been a source in the past as well. Publicbooks.org also. I mean, if you look at the two topics on literature, one on sociology, one on environment, these are topics that are asked. Similar, I mean, you will have topics on geography in the past, you will have prof topics on business in the past. So all these topics are normally asked, so they're from various, various sources. So this time it's more on literature, art, sociology, environment, that's what the topics have been this year. So if you have been comfortable with that, that would help you better with regards to understanding those topics. Similarly, if I look at uh, sec from the second slot, I mean, it's basically from, again, the economist, Krishman, Prospect magazine. I mean, history, political science, culture, environment. I mean, similar type of questions, more to do with arts than maybe a pure science particular type of topic. So in that case, uh, I think you should be able to read those type of articles as such. Similarly, if I would third, I mean, you have the Washington Post, again, US based, LA Times, uh, again, US based. So more of US based, Stanford and such, more of US based articles because that's where the articles come from. So if you can get sources from US, like the Guardian, there are, sorry, there are different magazines from the US and I to read and be comfortable helps. Apart from that, look at other magazines like Smithsonian, um, uh, Guardian, other sources and be comfortable because these have been asked in the past. Look at last four or five years for sources and try to read from those. But before you start with this, my suggestion is focus on creating a good reading habit. You can read on these philosophy, archaeology, history, literature, geography, all those topics are important. Knowing Reading that will help you to understand the jargons of those language. The moment you understand the jargons, it will help you to understand whatever passages come in the exam. Right. I hope this helps. All the best. Thank you.